Have you ever found yourself in a situation where you reacted impulsively, only to reflect later and wonder, why did I do that? Maybe it was a heated argument with a loved one, or perhaps it was a decision you made at work that in hindsight seemed rushed or out of character. These moments of quick, sometimes rash decisions often feel as though they come out of nowhere. But are they really out of nowhere? Or could it be that what we believe are choices are actually just emotional reactions to underlying triggers? It's fascinating when you stop to think about it. We often believe we're in control that the decisions we make are the product of deliberate rational thought. Yet, if we take a step back, it becomes clear that many of these choices are simply emotional reactions, deeply influenced by how we feel in the moment. Our brains are wired to seek pleasure and avoid pain. When faced with any situation, the mind immediately assesses whether it will lead to something pleasurable or painful. If the brain perceives pain, it reacts with a defensive or avoidance mechanism. If it perceives pleasure, it moves towards it. These emotional impulses can be so strong that they override any rational thinking. We don't think things through carefully. We react, often automatically, based on the emotional energy that's been triggered inside us. This automatic response system doesn't start in adulthood. In fact, it's formed early in life. As children, we learn how to respond to the world through the emotional reactions modeled by those around us. For example, if you grew up in an environment where anger was the primary way of dealing with frustration, you might find yourself reacting with anger in similar situations, even if it's not the most productive response. Over time, these emotional reactions become deeply ingrained patterns, so much so that we don't even realize they're happening. It becomes almost automatic. We encounter a situation, it triggers an emotional response, and we react. All of this happens so quickly that we often mistake it for a conscious decision when in fact it's a programmed reaction to our internal emotional states. At the core of many of these automatic reactions is emotional pain. Think about the last time you snapped at someone or made a decision out of fear. What was really going on beneath the surface? More often than not, there's an underlying emotional wound, perhaps feelings of inadequacy, rejection, or a sense of being misunderstood. This pain lurks in the background, waiting for a trigger to bring it to the forefront, where it quickly overtakes rational thinking. For example, if you've ever experienced rejection in a relationship, you might find yourself reacting defensively when a new partner exhibits behavior that reminds you of that past rejection. Without realizing it, you're not responding to the present moment, but to the emotional pain of the past, allowing it to dictate your actions. On the flip side, pleasure can also override rational thinking, though it's often more subtle. In our quest for comfort or gratification, we can make impulsive decisions that don't serve our long-term well-being. Whether it's indulging in unhealthy habits or avoiding difficult conversations, the pull of immediate pleasure can blind us to what's truly important. Think about the last time you procrastinated on a project or avoided a task because something else seemed more enjoyable in the moment. In that split second, your brain prioritized the short-term pleasure of avoidance over the long-term satisfaction of accomplishment. Again, it wasn't a deliberate choice. It was an emotional reaction to the pull of comfort. The more you begin to explore the concept of emotional reactions, the more you start to see how pervasive it is in everyday life. We like to think of ourselves as rational beings, but the reality is that much of our behavior is driven by emotion. The challenge is these emotional reactions often happen so quickly that we don't even notice them. It's as if we're sleepwalking through our choices, unaware that we're not really choosing at all. 
So often, we're not deciding based on what we truly want or what's best for us. We're reacting to an emotional state. The result? A life that feels out of alignment. Decisions that leave us wondering what went wrong. And a sense of being disconnected from our own inner wisdom. The first step to breaking free from this cycle is recognizing it. Once we become aware that many of our so-called choices are emotional reactions, we can start to observe the patterns in our own lives. It's not about blaming ourselves for past decisions or feeling shame for acting impulsively. It's about becoming conscious of the automatic responses that have shaped our behavior so we can begin to see them for what they are, react actions, not choices. With this awareness comes a sense of empowerment. When we understand that our emotions often overrule rational thinking, we can start to question the impulses that arise in the moment. Instead of acting on every emotional reaction, we can pause, reflect, and create space for more deliberate, thoughtful decisions. But here's the thing, rewiring these emotional responses isn't easy. They've been ingrained in us for years, sometimes decades. The automatic reaction system is like a well-worn path in the brain, and stepping off that path takes conscious effort and practice. It requires a deep level of self-awareness and emotional literacy. The ability to not only recognize our emotions, but to understand their roots and triggers. It's important to note that this process isn't about suppressing emotions. Emotions are a vital part of our experience, and they carry valuable information about our inner world. However, when emotions consistently overrule rational thinking, they can lead us astray, pulling us into reactive patterns that don't serve our highest good. One of the most startling realizations in this exploration is how little control we actually have over our emotional reactions. We like to think we're in the driver's seat, but often it's our past emotional experiences, our fears, and our desires for pleasure that are pulling the strings. The more we recognize this, the more we see the need for practices that help us cultivate awareness and break the cycle of emotional reactivity. The path toward self-mastery begins with the recognition that many of our decisions aren't choices, they're reactions. When we start to see this clearly, we can begin to take back control of our lives, not by suppressing our emotions, but by developing the awareness to recognize when they're driving the car. The Inner Foundation series can help you explore this dynamic and guide you toward understanding your emotional patterns more deeply. Through its contemplative approach, you can start to shift from reacting to choosing, allowing your highest self to lead the way.